And so the journey begins. This is the last night before opening deer season here in North Texas. We're gonna be doing some archery hunting, uh, crossbows, I know, I know. We'll get there one day and use some real bows, but this year we're gonna do some crossbows. Finally got the car all packed up and uh, ready to go meet Austin up at his parents' house. Super excited. Oh man, been thinking about this all week at work. Could not wait to get out of there today and uh yeah let's uh let's see if we can get her done let's see if we can get her done let's hit it you hit after the eighth and uh that privilege will be gone. But okay. um, yeah, I'll make a note here, but if you decide to change your mind or change it to EFT, just give us a call back. All right, we'll do. Morning hunt sucked, 
saw all of three does, no bucks, but what are you going to do? Got completely rained out on us, so we sat there until the rain held up enough for us to get back to the trailer. Kind of regrouped, took some naps, went into town, got some really good food out in uh, Dublin, Texas, where the best Dr. Pepper used to be made. And uh, now we're back here about 2.30, saw a bunch of does as we were rolling in. Still no bucks, so with our luck, all the bucks are probably sitting at the feeders right now. So we're about to pack up um, all the hunting stuff, and uh, we're going to get back out in the blind. Hopefully we see something this afternoon and redeem ourselves for the weekend. Let's do it.
something to take the edge off. Well, not the night we uh, necessarily wanted or expected, but a night nonetheless, I guess. Quick one that we did today, so just a quick day trip, but Austin's gonna give us the rundown here, I guess. Yeah, so, um, good night all in all. Like, we had deer on us. We probably were in the blind for an hour, and then we had deer on us, and we were covered in deer. We had about 20 deer on us. Uh, we had the real nice nine pointer come in, and he's one that we're gonna pass and let go till next year. And then we had that real nice eight pointer, and he was actually my, my target buck if I was gonna shoot a buck. And when I saw him in person, we kind of both decided he was a shooter buck. So uh, I was pretty much gonna shoot that deer and it just didn't quite hit. The other deer was right in front of it, couldn't quite get the perfect shot that I wanted and um, it, it moved off. And no, we really didn't think much of it because it was gonna come back. Uh, we thought it was gonna come back and Really weirdly after that, we actually started hearing um, a side-by-side. -side. And uh, we have neighbors that are, that are pretty close by, but they don't usually come in on a side-by-side. -side. So it was very, very weird. And uh, they came with a trailer and they came with a dog. And it was so close that we actually went and, and checked it out. And they, they weren't on our property, but we thought they could have been. Um, they were on the neighbor's property, but we don't think that's our neighbor. So, all in all, it was a weird night. We got back in the blind, saw one doe, uh, or two does, and nothing else ever came in, just because there was so much ruckus uh, around us with, with that neighbor. But it was a good night, and we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and hope that, uh, that them making that noise wasn't poachers or wasn't, I mean, a new neighbor. Maybe they sold the land. We, 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 were, we were just kind of speculating, so. We're hoping that, because that, that eight point moved off in that direction, so we're hoping that, uh, that they didn't shoot that eight point. But it's uh, it's all part of the game. It's part of the uh, part of the fun of it, part of the enjoyment of hunting. So we'll get back at it next weekend. Check the game cameras and uh, keep our fingers crossed that uh, that big old eight pointer survived. But we'll see. Yeah, it was a good night indeed for sure. Very interesting. It's just gonna be an interesting season altogether with us doing this management game plan and not shooting the biggest things out there but hopefully some medium ones will make it through the season and spread their genes out there and you know hey and in a couple of years we might finally build up the population to big ones get some too. real big ones big one yeah we need a couple big ones to make it through the season yeah so stay tuned for our medium-sized deer and uh hopefully we get one next time catch you later